Okay, hello there everyone, NintendoGen64 is here, welcoming you all back to more Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 1. Alright, in this part we go into Castle Machinery, which is the um, second of the machinery levels in Crash Bandicoot 1. So, um, in this level we actually don't need it, but um, you can actually use the green gem to get up there and get like a ton of lives and finish the level. Which, uh, I don't know why that is there, I, I guess it's just for... You know, in case you did get the green gem and you want to go to the end of the and you're at the end of the game and you know you're just too lazy to finish levels properly anymore, so they just give you the um, green gem to uh, yeah, ride to the end of the level. But um, no, that's not what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna go back into level and get the uh, white gem from the level. So yeah, and uh, <clears throat> as you can see here, the end of the level is actually right there. But no, we have to fall down this massive uh shaft thing here and uh, do the level normally so um yes yeah, so what can we say about castle machinery uh yeah, nothing too much it's um a bit more difficult than um heavy machinery but not really um it's longer <coughs> and um it's towards the end of the third island which for some reason to me seems really out of place because um we're used to levels that are like all castle orientated, like uh, lights out and uh, fumbling in the dark, and this is kind of this. This belongs like earlier on the third island, in my opinion. Like, oh, damn it, like in pinstripes area, kind of. You know how there's that like toxic waste and cortex power and all that stuff. For some reason, that in my opinion, this level should have been in that area or something. I don't know. But ah, uh, yes, so. Uh, there's actually um only one real difficult thing about this level, and that's this box bridge thing that's towards the end. So uh, yeah, until then uh, it's all smooth sailing for us. Oh yes, and we got the return of these uh, hot pipe things here. These actually are uh, kind of fatter than the other ones we used to, but no, uh, well. And um yeah, we also got these uh, lift things that kind of return from generator room. So um as you've probably noticed, we've been going up and down like oh. Oh, did you see that? I had that glitch where you, um, get a hundred lives, but... Anyway, as, as you've noticed, we've been going, like, up and down, like, a ton this level. Like, um, at the start we fell down heaps, and now we're going back up, and then we'll be going back down in a minute. Like, now, see? Actually, those falling things there, you, you'll actually s um, see that there's actually, like, ground up here. I'll show you in a sec. See, there's actually ground there, so those falling platforms are kind of weird, because... As you can see there, it's the bottom there, and, okay, weird camera glitch, so, uh, yeah. If you actually did fall where those falling platforms were, you theoretically wouldn't be killed, but according to the, um, uh, incongruent physics of Crash Bandicoot 1, you would. Oh yeah, that's really cool there, that'd be fun to jump up, I don't know. Oh yeah, and don't jump on this spring platform there, because you'll get your head burnt. Now, I think this is the lowest part in the level, I'm pretty sure it is, because I think now we've come as far down as possible and now we're going back up which uh, is really interesting okay or maybe not we're going down again a bit um this part here is actually that's where the level over this is like where the level overlaps kind of because there's where you fall down at the start and now we're coming back around there so yeah yes and there's lots of conveyor belts in this level it's very conveyor belt crazy and we've got those pipe things that drip out ooze. <clears throat> okay, here's the box bridge I was talking about. Now there's actually a specific way you're supposed to do this. And I think I've just... Nope, 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 I didn't do it. Oh, great. <laughs> okay. That's fine. It's fine. This is a short level anyway, considering we're on the third island. And that's probably the only difficult thing about this level, so, uh, really, uh, Castle Machinery is a very easy level. Yeah, you probably saw those steps there, that we, are. Uh... Actually, no, this would be the last point in the level, probably. Or would it, I, I don't know. Oh, yes, we've got these camera bot things again, and we've got these guys that returned from... I think the last time we saw them was in Generator Room. I think. I might be mistaken. Could be mistaken, I don't know. I don't have. I, I, some people say I have a photographic memory. I think I do, to be honest, but. 
you know, not for useless things like Crash Bandicoot. No, I got photographic memories for useless things like uh, quotes from LP parts, yeah, and uh, minor things I pick up in conversations, yeah. Uh, that's enough to talk about my photographic memory. Um, is there anything else I can say about this level apart from its uh, general easiness? Oh, really? I don't think so. I could probably say that um, I like the rusting of walls in the background there, and that this must be like one massive like factory thing because like I we haven't even seen the bottom of it, like the floor of the factory, so it must just go down forever or something. Which doesn't make much sense because if you actually look at the um. The, the uh, stuff on the map, it doesn't really seem that big, but eh. maybe Crash is just like out of proportion or something, so it is actually bigger than it seems, so I don't know. Oh yeah, and we got these these things here, these steam pipes that come back. Which, that doesn't really look like steam that comes out of them, but uh, whatever. Oh yeah, and we got that, oh that's cool, like the ooze there is corroding the wall. Huh, that's interesting. Oh, buddy bitty whoop. Oh yeah, and Aqua Aqua glitches into the wall there. Very nice. I, I don't know how that's nice, but yeah. Lag. Lag, 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 lag. Okay. <laughs> Falling down once again. Oh, don't jump on that. Oh yeah, and this is kind of like the only 3D part. Oh, and then all these step parts, they kind of make 3D for some reason. They make you have to walk out into the foreground and jump up the stairs. Bounce? Okay. And we go back down again, that's where the level overlaps. And checkpoint. Okay. Let's go back down again. Okay, now let's try this once more. Two, three, four. It helps if it doesn't lag. Okay, there we go. Brilliant. And that's pretty much it. The rest of the level from now on is like a breeze. Because now we go back up. Spin the uh, camera bot. And I have to wait for these platforms to come down here. There we go. Yeah, for some reason there's two platforms. I don't really know why. There's two platforms stuck together. Okay, we're back at... We're up to another one of these parts. Where every second one like oscillates between being on and off kind of thing. Okay. Okay, let's ride this platform over the hot pipe. Over the other hot pipe. A oh, good ice pipe. I can stand on this. Oh, okay, we're at the end of the level. Great. Okay, and we're done. Castle machinery. Wasn't that a fun level, children? But did we get perfect? Yes, we got perfect. I wonder where this room is because, like, it'd be interesting to see where this would be. But it's like a room with like Crash's face on it, and like those Aztec kind of things on the slide. Twenty-two gems and ninety percent complete! Exclamation mark. Okay, there's the super password, and we've done twenty-eight out of thirty-two levels, two out of two keys, and twenty-two out of twenty-six gems. So we're on our way. Actually, we're very close to finishing this. Anyway, in the next part, we'll be going into Nitrous Brio. See you later, guys. Goodbye.